Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Craddock, Chair of the Biology Department here at Eastern New Mexico University in Portales. And I want to welcome you to our STEM programs. We have a number of quality STEM programs here at Eastern, and we are one of the most affordable universities in the Southwest. So should you be interested in a STEM field, please consider us as you advance your studies. Welcome to the Biology Natural History Preserve. We are fortunate here at Easton to have approximately 75 acres of natural area that we can use for our wildlife and fisheries and ecology programs. This is used both for teaching ecological techniques in our courses, it's used for undergraduate and graduate research as well to understand the biology of the high plains. This area has been ungrazed for at least 50 years and so we are very fortunate to have this type of habitat in this part of the world and we've used it extensively as I mentioned to teach trapping techniques, observation techniques and this enables our students to get hands-on experience with, uh, in developing their skills for their future careers as wildlife biologists. Hey, my name is Jody Montgomery. I'm a sophomore at Eastern New Mexico University. I'm currently in uh, my Bachelor's of Science for Fish and Wildlife Sciences. And today we're conducting some research on uh, box turtles. So what we do here at the Eastern New Mexico Natural History Preserve is we have three uh, resident turtles and three translocated turtles. Uh, They're equipped with radio tracking devices that we uh, use to locate them. Uh, we do this three to seven times per week. We have this equipment that we use uh, to track them using radio telemetry. We uh, also take environmental data for each turtle and all of this data, when we put them together, uh, helps us determine their habitat, uh, where they are, their activity centers, and um, their natural history, behavior. And all of this data can help us um, determine future assessments for the species because such little baseline data exists across the species range. So I'm conducting this research on box turtles out here uh, as an undergrad because we have such a great opportunity for undergrads to do hands-on research of a variety of species. And out here at the ENMU Preserve, we have approximately 75 acres of usable habitat where um, students of all STEM majors can come out and conduct research. And right now, uh, we've located uh, one of our turtles that is attached with one of our transmitters. Um, we use this device to make sure that uh, we know exactly where their location is. So we know that this turtle is right here um, using this equipment, uh, using radio telemetry. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ken Craddock. I'm chair of the biology department here at Eastern New Mexico University in Portales. And what we have here today is our cadaver lab. At NMU, we strongly believe that hands-on experiences in the sciences are important as often as possible. And we are fortunate to have this facility. So for students studying forensic science and in pre-medicine and other health-related areas who take anatomy and physiology courses, you'll be learning with a human cadaver. So here we have our examination table. The cadaver would be laid out on the table for examination and the students get hands-on experience. And when our cadaver is not in teaching mode, we have them here in a full-size freezer so that uh, they can be preserved for the next, for the next class. Welcome to our Behavioral Ecology Laboratory. As you can see, this laboratory focuses on aquatic uh, research. And as with all of our research endeavors, undergrads are strongly encouraged to participate. So what we have here are some representatives of fish from the Pecos, uh, a river in New Mexico. And we can study uh, mating behavior, breeding behavior, uh, and all kinds of other uh, responses to environmental cues. Not only do we study fish, we've studied crayfish, we've studied freshwater plankton. And so there's really a lot of research opportunities if you're interested in the aquatic behavior of organisms.